my intrusion, mademoiselle, but I have come to escort you to your room. My room? But I thought... Oh, what, that... Once this door closes, it will not open again. <sighs> I know, he gets so dramatic. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you are very strong. This is a great quality. What are you? I am Lumiere. And you can talk? Well, of course he can talk. It's all he ever does. <laughs> Now, Lumia, as head of the household, I demand that you put her back in her cell at once. What do you want to be for the rest of your life, Cogsworth? A man or a mental clock? Ready, miss? Mm -hmm. Trust me. Oh. Look, Cogsworth, a beautiful girl. Beauty and the Beast really characterized a huge part of my childhood and my growing up. What if she is the one? The original is beloved, but with the current technology and craftsmanship... This castle is alive. There was so much more to explore. Hello. You can talk. Yes. The opportunity to bring it to life was very exciting. We have someone for you to dress. Finally. We're so blessed to have artists like Jacqueline Duran, who's the costume designer. Belle's costumes are based in the animation, so her village dress is an homage to the blue dress. A big part of creating Belle was working with Jacqueline Duran. Belle loves to read, so we created these pockets so that Belle could always carry a book. She loves to ride, so she has one side of her skirt hitched so that she can get a leg over a horse. We wanted to feel beautiful, but also this is something that's part of her. With the yellow dress, we went through a long design process. I can think of very few dresses that are as iconic as that yellow dress. What we decided was it had to dance beautifully. It was a very soft structure which was built up with meters and meters of silk organza, cut broadly in a circular shape so that it emphasized her movement. We printed gold leaf onto the dress and Swarovski crystals. It's just gorgeous to look at. We wanted the dress to feel like it could float, and it does. It just is perfect for that moment. They're coming! Run out checks, everyone! They've taken something which is so well known and expanded on it and give it more depth. They've just done an incredible job. Hey, Vale here to share some love with you all. Did you know that the man who served as the voice of Walt Disney's iconic Mickey Mouse for over 30 years, Wayne O'Wine, was married to the woman who voices Minnie Mouse, Rosie Tyler? The two were married for nearly two decades until Wayne O'Wine passed away in 2009. Oh, isn't that sweet? Now, if you want to receive new trailers as soon as they are released, subscribe and click the notification bell. See ya!